Good morning. Hope you're all having a great day. Hey, I thought I'd just take a minute and put out a little bit of information on some uh, thoughts relative to mixing epoxy based on some comments and feedback and questions I've gotten over the last couple of days when I shared uh, the methods I use for mixing and pouring epoxy. And that is, why do I mix using weight versus volume? And the short answer is, well there's, well, there's actually three answers. Number one, when I first started a few years back and Shane started mentoring me on the process, he had a scale and he told me what scale he used. He even gave me the link to Amazon and he said he was measuring using a weight when he had small amounts. So number one is Shane had mentioned that's how he does it and I wanted to copy everything Shane. Number two, when I was uh, researching um, my manufacturer's epoxy, which is Upstart Epoxy, and I looked at their videos, in one or two of their videos, the gentleman that was demonstrating in the YouTube video had mentioned that he preferred mixing by weight, and he gave the weight ratio of one to one part to 83 parts. And so I started using weight at that time. Then I knew it was a one-to-one -one volume by visual so I did try to mix them up visually and it worked okay but I found that I struggled when I used the one-to-one um, -one by volume visual because uh, the way of measuring it so let's just take an example here real quickly let's use this cup and let's say this is the epoxy right here and if I pour the epoxy and I'm usually using small amounts anywhere between uh, two to four ounces unless it's a big pour so if I pour two ounces in here if I want a one-to-one -one volume, I first have to pour one ounce. And I have to look at that just right. So if I'm holding it like this, I get a parallel view or you can see, I don't know whether you can see in the camera or not, but if I don't hold it straight, when I'm looking at the measurement, I may or may not actually be on one. So then I have to set it down and I have to look at it just right. And then I need to pour the next volume of one so I would come in here and I would have to get up to the rest to two or I'd have to do the math and split it in half 0.75 and 0.75 well one is pretty easy to see but if I have to do 0.75 ounces where is 0.75 ounces in this gradient so I could get finer graded cuts and anything else bottom line is looking at it visually with small amounts I had more trouble than being able to set this just on a scale and read some digital numbers. So I found that my epoxy measurements were more accurate and more consistent when I would use a scale and use the weights versus volume. It's that simple. The following reasons. Number one, Shane, when he was first teaching me, had mentioned that he uses weight. Now he also has metered pumps, so if possible, he just uses the pumps to meter out as West Systems Epoxy. Those work until those pumps don't work. I had some uh, with system epoxy. Uh, my metered pumps were working really great. One squirt of this, one squirt of this, I always did the ratio, and then the metered pump stopped working. So number one, Shane had recommended it. He even gave me the, the scale to use at the time. I still have that scale, I'm on my second one, because epoxy gets messy, and you may have seen the cell phone wrap I have on my scale. Uh, I do that because I already messed up a scale and Shane told me he's on number four or something like that because the epoxy gets into the keys and messes everything up. Number two, so here we go again. Number one, Shane recommended it. I know I'm repeating myself. Number two, the manufacturer that I bought the epoxy from, which was Upstart Epoxy in one of their instructional videos, recommended using the weight ratio in one of their videos. And number three, through experience, I found it easier to measure weights by looking at a digital scale especially on small amounts where the, the criticality of the mixture is, is uh, important versus trying to eyeball it. Those are the reasons I suggest weights when I'm talking with people and why I use it. Any method will work. Using it by volume is perfectly fine. It's just what I use. I hope you're having a great day, a great life, and keep having fun. Make this epoxy journey fun for you. Have a great day.